Uh, my name is Benson Lee. I'm the Chief Marketing Officer uh, for Lips uh, Corporation. Uh, so today, uh, there are many things uh, that requires uh, automation. So for example, a boring job like uh, moving uh, stuff or uh, transferring things. And these uh, you know, are boring jobs, right? That uh, doesn't necessarily need to take the human resources. So the, the robot can do that. But in order for a robot to do this, they need to recognize things, what to pick up and how to pick up. And uh, so they need the eyes. So before the robot doesn't have eyes, so they can only repeat what you tell them. But they can deal with uh, you know, uh, different size or different uh, things to, to pick up. But now uh, we are adding the eyes uh, to the robot. So robot can deal with all these uh, different uh, things uh, without you know, a human telling what to do. And so you can, for example, uh, similar to like ChatGPT, uh, they can, uh, yeah, using uh, the intelligence to answer the uh, question in the right context. And the robot can pick up the right things at the right time uh, for the right places. So these are the challenges uh, that the industrial company is facing. And uh, so uh, Lips is uh, helping uh, you know, these uh, robots to add eyes, uh, vision uh, to them so they can uh, perform uh, intelligent tasks. Uh, so Lips, uh, well, we are not a cos cosmetic company. Uh, we focus on uh, 3D vision and AI. And so what we do is uh, really uh, we're trying to uh, add the value to uh, different industries uh, with uh, our product, which is a 3D camera, along with our uh, software. And that can uh, help, uh, you know, uh, automate things or uh, make uh, things, uh, our life, uh, you know, uh, easier. So, for example, you add the 3D vision and AI uh, to, uh, to a vehicle, it's an autonomous vehicle. You add that to a, a factory, it's a, no, uh, 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 it's a no man's factory. Or if you uh, add it to a store, it's uh, like Amazon Go, right? You don't need a human, uh, you know, then uh, you can buy things and they can track everything. So, uh, so this, uh, what we are trying to do is uh, try to add uh, values to uh, all these uh, different industry using our core technology, 3D vision and AI. So right now you see this uh, moving robot and uh, this uh, robotic arm. Uh, right now uh, you see this uh, very common in a factory. So what happened was uh, every year, uh, there will be uh, operate, operators that's colliding with a robot. But, uh, uh, you know, in reality, uh, they need to work with the robots. So in order to uh, enable the collaboration and also uh, protect the human at the same time, uh, we do this, uh, what we call a virtual fence application. So right now, uh, this, uh, uh, this uh, 3D camera uh, right here uh, can see, uh, you know, my, my movement and uh, can recognize my uh, skeleton. So for example, if I put my uh, hand inside the fence, you see the fence uh, turns uh, yellow, which is a warning sign, and robot slows down immediately. If I take it back, then it's green, the robot, you know, uh, working at the normal speed. So this way, uh, the human can work with the robot. Uh, and uh, at the same time, you know, if it's, uh, it also protects the human at the same time. So uh, right now, while we are, uh, also trying to solve is actually a, you know, a day-to-day -day task, but it's taking up a lot of time, it's a boring job, and we are trying to automate, and it's called dimension measurement. So uh, right now, if uh, in a, a warehouse, right, uh, you imagine a guy has to measure many things every day, uh, because uh, that's uh, his job. But uh, now, if you uh, use, use uh, 3D vision and AI technology, we can automate uh, this uh, job. So for example, right now, I can use uh, the, this uh, 3D camera in the back and uh, then uh, I can perform a dimension measurement. So for example, right now there's a box underneath and uh, I can, uh, with a one click, I can measure the dimension of the box, right? Uh, length, width, height. And uh, I can also, uh, uh, we also integrate it with the thermal sensor so, some, so, you know, the, the, the warehouse guy can uh, check the temperature of the package and uh, to see if it's uh, safe or if it's uh, storing food, whether it's uh, stored at the right temperature. So this way we solve, uh, we, we do can provide barcode scan, dimensioning, and uh, also a thermal sensing all at the same uh, application. Uh, the best way to find out the information of our product and solutions is to visit our website, uh, which is uh, lives. Uh, dash sci.com
and uh, uh, yeah, that's it. <laughs>